Yo, what is up, YouTube? This is Xgen Pinoy. Some of you may have recognized my voice. I don't know. But, anyway, some of you also may know that I've been away for a while. Probably a couple months getting online when I can here and there. But, um, I've been pretty busy lately with a lot of things going on. But, I found some more time to get on. I've, I'm going to find more time to get on I guess uh, but anyway the point of this video is to show people who record for XGen and also edit for XGen the clan matches I mean how to put the video together in uh, at least uh, in my preference and I'm pretty sure a lot of you seen the our videos, our old videos, and those were edited by myself. And uh, let's see, here we go. First thing I want to go over is putting on the watermark. Not difficult at all. All you have to do is get the image and treat it just like any other video file and drag it to the topmost layer and then you get the intro and you drag it under that layer and the second second and third layer for the video and then the audio and as you can see it overlaps the the watermark overlaps and then you get your actual gameplay and you put it after oops okay there you go And then see here you get the whole watermark and you just drag it across the whole video or up until where you want it to be at and then also you can add a song my song is right here and one big thing about songs is these days is they get copyright issues when you post them post videos with popular songs because you don't own the content so what you can do in Vegas, you right click on the audio, or the, the song, and then you go to properties, and you go to audio event, method, classic, and lock to stretch, wait, no, no, and you change the pitch to 0.5, I believe that's it yeah yeah you change the pitch to 0.5 and then it ch it changes the pitch a little higher but it won't be that noticeable unless you really pay attention to the to the songs in comparison if you're listening to one and you listen to this one it's not gonna sound that different but that's how you get rid of that little issue in most cases and anyways I'm gonna drag this song a little bit to meet the length of the video <clears throat> and then another thing I want to go over is co uh, the, sorry color correction um, I believe I have some presets already for me well actually you know what let's do that after one of the big things I I really like emphasize on doing when you edit a, a match for us or any of the recorders um, is you make sure you have transitions in and by that here I'll give you guys an example alright he's not moving here so what the hell is he doing oh um, by the way this clip is from my one of my good friends simply as boss uh, thank you for letting, letting me use this clip just a uh, random footage of him playing a clan match I don't know against two but anyway <clears throat> let's see I need to find a part where he gets okay he gets a kill right there so I'm gonna split this clip a little bit before where is it a little before it gets the kill split it splitting a clip all you gotta do is find the selection like find the spot you wanna like split the clip at and push S as in star on your keyboard S and then let's see what else 
Where did he get the kill at? Was it right here? Oh, it was right there. I'm stupid. Anyway, let's undo. Alright, right about here. Split right there. You know what? Let's go a little bit more behind. Let's go right here. Right there. And then he gets the kill. And then I'll split it right here. And I'm going to delete this part. And drag this along. Okay. So now you have it at this part. And let's find another spot where it gets another kill. Uh, let's see here. Alright, here we go. He gets another kill right about here. Where is it at? Right there. So let's go a little bit before that. About right here. And split the clip there. And then I'll we'll split the clip a little bit after he gets the kill. About right there. And just delete this middle part. Anyways, the transition. Here we go. One of the easiest transitions to do, but it looks fairly clean like it doesn't look too like bedazzled so to speak and it's it's nice and simple but it works all you gotta do is drag one clip over the other one over make sure they overlap and then you can see you can see it kind of fades into the other clip if you go frame by frame you can see it fading into the next clip but as simple as that as that is it looks it looks really nice but anyway you do that for all for the whole video until you get about uh, let's see two minutes worth of clips that would be fine for the whole video at least two minutes because that's what people want to watch like people don't want to watch like uh, a good amount of, of clips not just 30 seconds and then oh here's the scoreboard this and that but no you want to get uh, some good footage so your viewers can be entertained but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause this really quick and then cut these clips. Alright, um, simply didn't even have that many clips or kills in this clip. It was only a minute long, but it had three specific um, parts that I took out of it. But anyways, uh, you can see here that I did that little transition over each part. But, um... Another thing I want to go over is if you see this little black line right here, you can see it's not on this side, but it's on the other two sides right here. You want to fix that. But you can do that by going to Event Pen and Crop and finding a little. Oh, wait, wait, no, you know what? That's not what you're supposed to do. First thing you should do is you should, from the beginning, you should have right clicked on the video and then uncheck Maintain Aspect Ratio. And you should have disabled resample. I didn't do that at the beginning, so I'm gonna have to do that on all of them. There's only three, luckily. <clears throat> and what that does is it makes the video the maintain maintain aspect ratio makes the video able to like you you can like mess with the the size of the of the screen. And the disable resample gets rid of a lot of ghosting, which um I'm not gonna get into but just do it because it looks better and I said so uh, now I need to fix that black line you can do that by adjusting adjusting a little bit you know what, I think I have a little preset yeah, there you go you can adjust it your own and you can save your little presets uh, here we go did it on this clip and I need to do it on this one as well there you go okay we got into that and then now we can get into the color correction I have some pretty simple color correction but I'm not gonna show you the exact settings but I'll leave them in the description because I don't have that much time in this video 
you want to go to studio RGB to computer RGB on the color corrector secondary and you want to drag it over your timeline on the video part it, and you, as you can see it looks a lot better than it used to look I'll do this so you can compare it looks a lot brighter and more colorful and then with that you can do some little soft contrast which looks a lot better as well as if it, lo if it loads and okay you would not respond <laughs> beat the shit out of you better start responding Okay, there you go. You just get the default soft moderate contrast. <clears throat> Sorry. And then you drag it over as well. And of course it would lag it again. But there you go. You got that little nice little effect there. And it looks really nice. And that's most of it right there. And then the last thing is the rendering. I'll also post that in the description as well. So you can see what really, really decent or really good render settings are. You want to go to uh, WMV. And I already have my little template saved right here. And then you just hit save. Oh, you choose where you want it to save it at and then you hit save in this case I guess I will save it to my next gen edit little folder Bleh. Anyways, this is going to take a bazillion years to get done. Alright, so the video is done rendering and uh, now um, I'm going to show you how it looks. So, here you go. Okay guys, um, that's the end of the video. Um, if you have any more questions, concerns, comments, post it down below and I'll try and get back to you. Also, if there's um, anything that I didn't go over, it should be in the description, but uh, if it's not, like I said, just go ahead and leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Enjoy.